sitting here waiting for the train to go by, so I guess I'll do a story time. The train is going by fast, so I'll be moving again. But I'll be in and out telling you about my story. Okay, this takes place in 1986. <laughs> like a million years ago. I was 16 years old. I had a best friend who was named Jill. And we went to high school together in East Orange, New Jersey. And I had a, another friend who was named Juanita. Well, Jill was trying to become a model. She was very, very beautiful. She was just absolutely gorgeous. Spent a lot of time doing talent shows, fashion, clothes, and makeup. Now, she wore makeup. I didn't. <laughs> I was more of a tomboyish when I was young, but my friends always since seemed to be into makeup and clothes and things of that nature. I used to love to dance, so we did a lot of dance and talent shows together. <laughs> she had me dressing like Madonna, Cyndi Lauper, and Michael Jackson at the same time. And we just had so much fun together. We spent a lot of time after school, but on the weekend, I spent my time with Juanita, who was more like myself, uh, crazy, quirky, funny, liked to have a lot of fun. I really enjoyed being around her. So we were becoming really, really on the good weekends friends. when I hung out with Juanita, we would do things like the movie. We would play kickball. We would go to the basketball court. We just had a lot of fun together. Where with Jill, I had so much fun with her, but she was more of um, a girly girl. And Juanita just was like me. She just loved to have like a whole lot of fun. Now, what's ironic is we both have the same first name. Juanita had a brother, an older brother. I didn't really too much kind of like him. He was kind of mean and kind of scary, but he seemed to take a liking. I used to, to just try to avoid him as much as possible because he did have a girlfriend who was older like himself, and I seemed to not really like him too much. But every time I was with Juanita, he seemed to want to talk to me, communicate with me, conversate with me. We didn't become friends, but I just always saw him when I seemed to be picking up Juanita or whenever I was around Juanita, he seemed to be around. And Juanita used to tell him to stay away from me, don't talk to me, don't look at me. Uh, she used to try to protect me from her brother. <laughs> it was like, okay, she trying to protect me, I need to stay away One from this boy. One day after school, Jill told me that she had to interview for a modeling shoot. And I was so excited for her. I wanted to go with her, but she told me that um, her family was going with her and that it was going to be an overnight thing, so I couldn't go. So I ended up going to see if Juanita was home, see if she wanted to hang out. And when I got there, she was not home. And I was just surprised because she's usually always there, but her brother was there. And he said, come on inside. Why don't you come on inside and um, wait for her? She'll be home shortly. So I went inside and we began kind of talking. He was really sweet. He was really nice. He seemed really nice. And um, he asked me, um, did I have a boyfriend? And uh, was I seeing anybody? I said, no. I was kind of shy too because at the time I didn't have a boyfriend. I wasn't seeing anyone yet. Um, I wasn't even thinking about dating actually. <laughs> And he asked me, did I ever kiss anyone before? And I said, well, no, I haven't. So, you know, he asked me, could he kiss me? And I thought, um, okay, you know, this will be my first kiss. I am 16, you know. Yep, he kissed me. After he kissed me and everything, when I needed to come home, I was so starting to become kind of awkward, you know. <laughs> so I told her that her brother kissed me and she said, stay away from him he's crazy he's bad news he's no good so i said okay i'm just gonna stay away from him and you know it just seemed like 
when I come to see her, he just would just be there. So then she would um, be trying to get him to go away, mind his business, but he just kept sticking around. She said, I don't know what it is about you, but my brother really likes you. And I said, oh my God, you know. <laughs> but one day, I he asked me, would I like to go to the movies? And I told him, no, I didn't want to go to the movies. I, I actually just really didn't want to even get involved with anyone. I just didn't even want to really get to know him like that. I just, Juanita was my best friends. And I wanted to continue being friends with her without having oh, anything to me do Me and Juanita him. continued being friends and continued hanging out. And for a few weeks, I didn't see him. Um, and which I was very One day, happy about. I was at Juanita house. We had some other friends at the house and he was there with some friends and we just all kind of commingle. We talking, laughing, playing music, dancing. Seemed to we had be so much fun. An okay guy, you know, that he was Juanita's brother and I ain't had too much to worry about. That's what I was thinking to myself. Well, one particular night, Juanita invited me over to her house again, and she told me to be there at a specific time, but when I got there, she wasn't there. Her brother was there, and he said, well, my mom had an emergency, so he, she took Juanita with her, and they'll be back in a little while. Come on inside. You know, we'll just hang out a little bit. Well, we end up hanging out, and he became closer to me, and I said, well, you know, I don't have nothing to be afraid of. I mean, he likes me, you know, and... It started At the end of the night, uh, sexual, and he was very aggressive, and he kind of made me feel like I was being a little girl. I was acting like a little girl. I was acting like a little kid. He really likes me. It's okay. He was very aggressive, but we end up having sex. At the end of the night, when Juanita got home, I just felt awkward. I felt kind of disgusting, and just felt weird so I told her that I was leaving and basically she didn't see me anymore for a while I didn't come back to her house I just didn't want to see her brother again I didn't want to run into him again and then you know finally um, she came up to my school and I was so surprised to see her there because we went to two different high schools and she says hey what's going on where you been I've been busy and she says but we always hang out. I've been trying to get in contact with you. What's going on with you? And I told her, I said, well, you know, I just didn't want to come to your house anymore. She said, but why? So I told her what happened between me and her brother. And she was like so mad. She said, you know what? I'm going to kick his butt. I'm going to whoop his tail. I'm telling my mother, you know. She was more upset than I was. And I told her, I said, well, you know what? I... I agreed to have sex with him, so it's not like his fault or anything. I just don't want to see him anymore. I just didn't like it, and I didn't feel good about it afterwards. I felt just felt weird and disgusting, and I found out I was pregnant. I kept growing up. I was getting sick in school, and then one day I fainted, and I was sent to the nurse's office and then she recommended me to go to Planned Parenthood where um, I found out that yeah I was pregnant <laughs> I was in shock complete shock you know what you don't have to worry about my brother anymore we'll meet in different places um, you don't have to come to my house anymore I'll come to your house and get you if I have to and I said, okay. She said, can we still be friends? Yeah, you know, she. I loved her. She loved me. So we still One morning, friends. I went to school, and I was just so sick. I was dragging around. I couldn't pull myself together. I tried to eat something for breakfast, and it came out, plus something, some other stuff that just, like, it was just, like, pulling at my stomach. It was just, my whole guts was coming out. And I was in the girls' bathroom, and I was just throwing up, throwing up. I was so sick. And I went to the nurse, and the nurse recommended that I go to Planned Parenthood. Well, I went to Planned Parenthood, and yes, I found out I was pregnant. I was about two months pregnant, scared to death. I didn't know what I was going to do. I was confused. I was upset. And then... 
she said, well, you have options. If you don't feel like you can take care of the baby, you can do adoption or you can do an abortion or you can try to keep the baby. It's up to you. She gave me some pamphlets, some things to read, and told me that I need to go talk to friends and family so that I can make the best decision for myself. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's all I could think of. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? So the first person that I decided to tell was my best friend, Jill. And Jill was standing in a mirror. She was cutting her hair in these big spiral curls. And when I told her, she almost burnt herself. She said, you're what? I said, I'm pregnant. She said, oh my God, are you crazy? I said, I know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm scared. She's like, well, you better not have it. You can't be having no baby right now. You're only 16 years old. We're in high school. And I was like, yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Well, at the time, even though I was 16 years old, I was emancipated at 14 years old. So I was basically a legal type adult. I got to live alone. I got to um, go to school. I didn't have no adult supervision. It was just myself. And I had no one to talk to. And she told me that. She says, you know, I really don't want to talk about this. I don't know what you're going to do, but I don't want to talk about this. And I said, but Jill... I need some advice. I'm scared. Why don't you come with me? Let's go talk to somebody at school. Talk to the guidance counselor. She was like, no. You need to keep that to yourself. Don't tell nobody about it. Your whole life is about to change. So I didn't really talk to nobody about it. So a couple of weeks done went past. And I decided that I would talk to Juanita. And she was like, oh my God, you're pregnant? So she's like, oh, my God, by who? And I said, your brother. And she says, oh, no, we're going to go tell my mother. My mother can help us. My mother can. And she used the word us. So she included me with her. And she just, she was just an awesome friend. And she said, don't worry. Whatever decision you make, I'm going to be by your side. I'm going to be right so with you. So we decided to go talk to her mother. Now I'm on pins and needles because I saw her mother here and there, but I really didn't know her that well. I didn't really talk to her all the time, you know, so I was scared to death. And her mom must have been working because she seemed to be really, really tired. Oh, so Juanita told her mom, says, mom, I got something just about you. And she said, well, go ahead, girl. Hey, her and tell me because I got to finish doing what I got to do. I'm tired. I just got home from work. I don't want to be bothered. She's like, well, um, this is my friend, and he got her pregnant. The mom was like, looking at me up and down, and was like, he got you what? And she said, she's pregnant. The mom looked at me and said, is that true? Are you pregnant? And I told her, yeah, I was pregnant. And she said, you're a pretty girl. You have a long life ahead of you, and having a child is going to stop you from doing all of the things that you want to do in life. Asked me, what was I going to do? I told her I didn't know yet, and she said, well, let me tell you, my son is no good. Stay away from him, and she says, I basically don't even want him here, but I can't get rid of him. He's a terrible person, and I'm telling you, as his mother, stay away from him. While she was telling me all the reasons why I need to stay away from her son, he comes through the door. You can hear the key turning. <laughs> oh my God, I was scared to death. As soon as he came in, Juanita was like, oh boy, you in trouble. She said, in trouble for what? You know what you did? You know what you did? He was staring at me. And his mom told him, she's pregnant. He was like, well, she ain't pregnant by me. I ain't even touch her. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting there looking at him like he was out his mind. And he was like, 
Tell him I didn't touch you. Tell him. And I'm looking at him. And I'm looking at his mother. And I said, you got me pregnant. I'm pregnant. He said, I ain't touch you. I ain't touch you. He starts screaming, kicking stuff, throwing stuff. His mother was trying to calm him down. I got up and I started proceeding going towards the door. And Juanita followed me. And she said, don't worry. We'll figure out what we're going to do. Um, so the mother comes outside and she says to me, I want to talk to you before you leave. And she stood outside the door and she says, listen, you're too young for a baby. And my son is a bad person. You need to get an abortion. We, I will help you pay for an abortion, but you can't have this baby. So Bonnie said, you don't have to be afraid. Don't worry. You don't have to be afraid. I'll go with you. Hey, you guys. I'm back on the road, and it looked like it's going to thunderstorm and rain. It's so cloudy out here. I can't even get no good sunlight so that I can continue my story, but I'm going to drive. After I talked to his mom, and she told me, you know, just come to her and let her know what my decision is, and um, she could help me either way. So I felt good about that. So I'll, whatever decision that you make, make a decision based on how you feel, not nobody else. And I, I was just grateful that I had her as a friend at the time. I decided then, to go back to talk to my best friend, Jill, about it. And she said to me, look, we're supposed to go to college together. We're going to do a lot of things together. You can't have a baby that you're going to ruin your life. I had a lot to think about, a lot to think about. But yes, I was pregnant at 16. And I was scared to death out my mind. I had no idea what I was going to do. I didn't even know where to begin to even think what was going to happen next. So there you guys, there got my story. And to find out about what the decision happened. was, watch my next story time, which will be the next video after this one. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And thumbs up, thumbs up if you like this video and you want to see more like this one.